Hi, in this video we're going to discuss Jackknife Estimation, which is an important tool in the toolkit of Lattice QCD. We're going to assume that by this point in your calculation, you have an ensemble of configurations, and you've managed to compute some sort of quantity on these configurations. But how do you know with what precision you've managed to calculate this quantity? Jackknife method is an easy way to estimate the uncertainty of a value that's been computed on a data set. Other alternatives to the jackknife method include the bootstrap and the resampling techniques, which we won't discuss in detail here, but I'll try to contrast jackknife to them and describe why we want to use jackknife. The notion behind jackknife estimation is that we want to create new data sets from the data that we already have. After all, if we could create more data, we would have already done that. But we're going to use our new fake data sets in order to compute many values. Whatever it was that we were trying to compute in our original data set, we're going to compute it on these new data sets. And then we'll have many different values, which we can simply compute the variance of, in order to determine the variance of our actual calculation. In the jackknife method, we create new data sets in a very simple way. We take our data set and we knock one sample out of it. For each sample, we create one new data set by knocking that sample out. So that means we have n new data sets if we started out with n samples. And each of the new data sets is going to have n minus 1 samples. Now this differs from bootstrap or resampling, where you choose random samples from your original data set. And that adds a lot of flexibility, because you don't have to get exactly n new sets. I mean, if n were really huge, then you might want a much smaller number of new data sets, or else you'd be doing calculations to the end of the universe. However, in Lattice QCD, our n tends to be relatively small, or we can block the data in order to get it down to a manageable amount. Another disadvantage of bootstrap or resampling is that your result will be random. You've made these random samples, and when you repeat it, or if somebody else tries to reproduce your calculation, they are going to get a slightly different result. Jackknife, on the other hand, is completely deterministic, and if you're doing it correctly, you ought to be able to get agreement to floating precision. Here's an example of how we would use the jackknife. Consider some data set which I've written up here as x1 through xn. We have some function that we know how to use on our data set. Say you take a correlator on your configuration and then you extract the mass from it. The whole procedure we're denoting by f. So you have f on each of these values. Divide by n in order to get the mean. Very simple. Now we can create our new data sets by dropping one value from each. On this first data set, we drop the first sample. The second one, drop x2, and we drop x3, and so on until we drop xn in the last data set. Now we have n new estimates for the mean, which we'll denote by f1 bar, f2 bar, and so on. And you can see they differ from our original estimate of the mean just by the fact that the f value for that particular data set no longer appears, and now the denominator has n minus 1 instead of n. That means we can now estimate the variance of the mean using the ordinary variance formula, which I've printed up here in case you've forgotten what it is. And I should mention that it's often convenient to store the list of values instead of the entire matrix of samples. There are, after all, n times n minus 1 different samples in this big jackknife matrix, but there's only n values in this list of values. And if we've done that, we have something that we call a jackknife set. And you can combine jackknife sets under the jackknife, as we say, in order to easily compute more derived values with their uncertainties. For example, if you had a mass and a second mass and you wanted to know their ratio, you could compute that ratio under the jackknife, and the jackknife will automatically take into account all of the correlations in that data and give you the correct ratio, as well as the correct variance of the mean for that data set. So that's the basics of the jackknife procedure. 
which is, as I say, a very important tool in Lattice QCD.